In this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure Joomla 4 to upload SVG files and preview them. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 242 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, maintain them, build them, and migrate them to Joomla 4. So if you're looking to hire someone short term or long term, or even just get you out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com. Okay, lots of info to go through today, so let's turn our attention to the screen. All right, so first of all, what is an SVG file? Uh, here's a link on Wikipedia. I'll put all links in the video description below. It is an XML-based vector image format. Now, that doesn't mean much to me either, but it is smaller and crisper than a lot of images, so uh, we will see that. Now, um, why would you want to use an SVG file? Well, like I said, they're smaller and crisper. So, for instance, let me just show you this screen here. Now, what you see here is that I have four files in a folder. One of them is a plugin we're going to install in a little bit. The other three are four images, 1920 by 1080 pixels in size of my Joomla training cohort logo. Uh, you will see here that the uh, JPEG version is only 61 kilobytes, but that's at 50% compression. Uh, here I have a PNG file, 77 kilobytes, very nice and crisp, looks great like you like about PNG, but look at here is an SVG file, 1920 by 1080, and it's 33 kilobytes, half the size of the PNG, and we're gonna see it's just as crisp. All right, let's look at the JPEG first quickly. Now you can see here that there's the logo, but look, you know, we can see in the color here, we have some stuff that's not great, it's not crisp, not really nice. Even with some compression, trying to make it smaller, it's not great. All right, look at the PNG. As you would expect, the PNG is very nice and crisp, but as we saw, it's, uh, bigger than the compressed JPEG, and it's twice as big as the SVG, which we're going to look at now. And really, other than it's a little bit situated differently on the screen because of different programs viewing it, look how crisp and clean that is. The great thing about SVG is, is that regardless of the size, it's going to get drawn very crisp, whether you make it bigger than this or smaller as it fills out the container that's a, that it's in. So that's why we want to use SVG files where we can, because that's going to help with page load speed. And page load speed helps with search engine optimizations, and it's just a nicer experience for everyone. So in order to upload SVG files to Joomla 4, we first of all have to uh, change some settings in the Media Manager. And to get there, we go to Content, Media, and then we go up to options. Now, I didn't know how to do this, but I learned it from a video on the Joomla.org uh, uh, YouTube channel that Brian Tiemann made. We want to add SVG in three places here. First of all, we want to allow it, add it to a loud extension. So at the end, we're going to go comma SVG. Then we're going to add it to the legal image extensions. Again, comma SVG. And then we are going to add it down to a legal mime type. Now it's going to be a little bit different what we type here. We're going to put a comma at the end and then we're going to go image forward slash and then we're going to go SVG plus XML and we will save and close. So what we're going to see here is now we can upload an SVG file. We'll click on upload. Here's a different folder uh, with some SVG files. I'm going to select this one here. I will click open and there it is. Now you'll notice there's no preview and that brings us to the plugin that we're going to install. This plugin is from Nick from Akiba and uh, it's going to allow us to preview SVG files. We're going to be able to see them which makes it much easier when we go to insert images into our Joomla pages and other places. Now to get that plugin we're going to go to Nick's GitHub, where you can read all about this plugin and how he made it and how it works. But we're going to click on download, and then we're going to go to the assets and we're going to download this plugin. Now, I already have it on my computer as I was practicing, so I'll just download it and replace it. Yes, and then we'll go back to Joomla. All right, so let's go to system 
install extensions and we will drag that plugin up to there. Now we need to activate it or publish it. So we will click on system plugins. I'm already sorting the plugin so that the ID is showing at the top. You could always just filter for SVG and there it is. All you have to do is enable it. We'll go to content, media, and now the Joomla training cohort logo SVG shows up and now I can upload and preview SVG files in Joomla 4. Subscribe for more videos. Until next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.